Boeing prototypes a drone that can carry 500 pounds, YouTube hands out its punishment to Logan Paul, and Ripple announces XRP trial with MoneyGram. It's Thursday, January 11th, ooh, and this is Crunch Report. Go. <laughs> We're still CSing. Deals are flowing, companies are pitching, and TechCrunch is bringing you all the good stuff. Here's the news. Logan Paul's error in judgment will not only affect his fame and social standing, but now we're starting to see how it will affect him in the wallet. YouTube has taken further action against social media star Logan Paul for the video he posted from the Japanese suicide forest by dropping the vlogger from its Google preferred program, which is meant to be a mark of trust to signal to advertisers they can rely on these media creators to generate higher quality content. The YouTuber also won't be featured in the fourth season of the YouTube Red Scripted Original Foursome, and any of his other upcoming Originals projects are on hold for the time being, with their ultimate fate still being determined. Ripple, the company behind the controversial XRP cryptocurrency, which has been criticized for obfuscating the nature of its partnerships with financial organizations, has announced a tie-up with global payment network MoneyGram. MoneyGram said it has agreed to pilot XRP, the cryptocurrency controlled by Ripple, within its payment flows using Ripple's XRapid product. It's important to note that this deal is only a trial and that MoneyGram has committed to testing XRP for a portion of its transactions, not all of them. The exact amount that XRP will be used for is unclear at this point. Boeing tasked their engineers with designing and building a cargo drone, and the prototype they came up with is a drone that's able to haul 500 pounds of goods. The vehicle is huge. It weighs 747 pounds, and it's 15 feet long, 18 feet wide, and 4 feet tall. Four arms hold two props each. It took Boeing engineers three months to design and construct the prototype, which just completed a test run in Boeing's research lab in Missouri. The company did not release official flight capabilities, including range or speed. Those will come in time, and chances are this vehicle will never be produced, but instead used as a test bed for technologies that will lead to cargo and vehicle drones. That's the report for today. Hit that like or love button. Share this video and keep raging Crunch Boys every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on techcrunch.com. You also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. All right, guys. No crunch report tomorrow since everyone is traveling back home. Hey, buddy. And we're off Monday. So we'll see you on Tuesday, all right? Much love. Kevin, you're fired. What the fuck? <laughs>